Hello friends, welcome to this session. In today's session, we will see how you can deploy ECS Fargate container in private subnets without using Net Gateway. So we will not use Net Gateway to download ECR images, rather we will use VPC endpoints. So we will create some interface endpoints and gateway endpoints and then deploy ECS Fargate container in private subnets. We will try to follow this diagram. We will create a VPC public and private subnet will create container in private subnet and will create these four endpoints one will be ECR API interface endpoint another ECR docker images interface endpoint then one S3 gateway endpoint and the last interface endpoint will be for CloudWatch these are the minimum endpoints which we need to create to make the container up and running you may need some other endpoint to be created depending on what your container needs access to. So let's go to VPC, log into AWS console, and here is my VPC CIDR range. I have subnets already created, two private subnets and two public subnets. Private subnets, private one and private two, the route table only allows VPC routing and subnet public, these two allow VPC routing as well as internet gateway so internet access is also allowed through these public subnets under net gateway I have not created any net gateway and now we'll create endpoints so let's go to endpoints create endpoint give some name so we'll create ECR API endpoint first I will call it connect ECR API AWS service in services try to search ECR and you will see ECR API service select that select select the VPC and this is my VPC here for subnets uh, always select uh, private subnets because our container is in private subnet so I'll select private subnets IPv4 IPs security group should allow access to this so I have created this security group here I'll quickly show what this security group looks like and if you see inbound rules it allows traffic within VPC for all the ports you can restrict it based on your requirement policy again I've given full access but you can create your own custom policy uh, restricting access tags if you want I will leave it default and create endpoint so it will start creating this ECR API endpoint now now while it's creating it we will create another endpoint so create endpoint again and this time we'll create for docker so connect ECR I'll call it DKR AWS service service you select ECR and you see the second service ECR.DKR this is what we require select the service VPC again uh, the right VPC subnets make sure you select private subnets here also IPv4 select the right security group which allows access again I am giving full access here you can restrict as you require create endpoint so this will start creating ECR docker endpoint so now we'll create the third endpoint for CloudWatch so we'll call it connect minus CloudWatch AWS service now service is not by name CloudWatch actually internally it called logs so if you select logs and you see here it's selected select this select select the VPC again private subnets IPv4 right security group and I'm again giving full access you can restrict create endpoint now I'll create gateway endpoint for S3 so if you see here in the diagram interface endpoints are for ECR and CloudWatch but S3 needs a gateway endpoint so we'll try to create that one click on create endpoint we'll call it as connect S3 AWS service we'll search S3 service and make sure you search all these services in your region where you have ECS Fargate so this is App Southeast 2 where I am doing everything so I will create a service here App Southeast 2 now there are two you can have interface or gateway see here so make sure you select the gateway one then select PPC and route table through which it has to go so select the private route the route table which is attached to your private subnets 
so it will add an entry there when it creates I'll show you very soon policy full access and then create endpoint so now we have created all required endpoints if you click here and they are all available you can see ECR API, ECR Docker, CloudWatch, S3 all are available I will quickly show you how the subnet looks like so if you go subnets and route table for private subnet you will see there is an entry which is S3 gateway endpoint entry already automatically made when we created S3 gateway endpoint now let's go to ECS and create task definition and try to deploy our container click on task definitions create new task definition give some name to your task definition let's say then the first is container details so give some name for your container and you have to provide the container image now my images are in ECR so you can get this image URI from ECR go to ECR your repository and select the image and this is the URI which is needed there let's go back paste container ports now my container exposes 8080 port so whatever port your container will be running on we have to expose that and TCP or UDP will select TCP app protocol leave it as HTTP environment variables you can pass or you can pass through S3 health check for the container so for my container the health check will be at port 8080 so I will place this interval which says what should be the interval between two checks so let's say it should wait five seconds that is minimum timeout so if the response is not received within that time then it will consider as fail so minimum is two seconds I will give it three seconds uh, start period I will leave it empty normally this is the time which you allow the container to boot up and then the health check should start and retries I will allow to try at least three times before it says it fails next app environment I should be a Fargate I will be using Linux now CPU I do not want for demo purpose one vCPU I will keep it as 0.5 memory also not that much required one GB is more than enough for demo purpose you can select based on your container requirement task roles so ECS task execution role by default network mode will be AWS VPC for Fargate containers storage also I will leave it default but if you have any requirement you can actually attach either EFS or uh, docker volumes to this monitoring logging you can actually log to CloudWatch if required you can add that I will leave it as a default and tags so next so you can review the changes and create so this will create the task definition so task definition is created we'll go to cluster now and create cluster give a cluster name let's say private cluster networking select the VPC where it will be so this is a VPC and instead of selecting all the subnets I just want private subnets so I will remove public subnets so it has only private 2 and private 1 and rest I will leave it as default and create so this will create ECS cluster so cluster is created we go in cluster it's in active state we'll create a service here select the task definition test article it will auto select the revision you can change if you have multiple revisions give it a service name then desired task I will keep it one and in networking select the VPC so this is the right VPC where I want my service and subnets I want only private subnets so I'll remove public ones so these are private one private two subnets uh, security group I already have a security group which allows access to this service public IP I do not want so I will turn it off only private IPs will be assigned load balancing right now will not attach this container to any load balancer and no service auto scaling option setting we just create so it will take a couple of minutes to create this service okay so the service is created now we'll go to tasks and refresh it's trying to provision the container now health status is unknown we'll go inside the task to 
see more details so image URI status is still pending and health status is also unknown and it will try to download the image from ECR now using our ECR endpoint status is still pending status has changed to running now and very soon it will check the health status of the container and you see the health status is now healthy so if you go back service task and you see you'll refresh this and status is healthy and it's running so our container is deployed and up and running fine using interface and gateway endpoints so the status goes to running one here so finally we are able to deploy our ECS socket container in private subnet and make it up and running just using VPC endpoints. I hope this helps you to set up your environment and that's it for this session. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.